Welcome to Minds on Fire. To leave you can, and you're halfway there. Do what you can with what you have where you are. Comparison is the thief of joy. Far and away the best prize that life offers is the chance to work hard at work worth doing. Keep your eyes on the stars and your feet on the ground. Speak softly and carry a big stick. You will go far. No one cares how much you know until they know how much you care. The only man who never makes mistakes is the man who never does anything. In any moment of decision, the best thing you can do is the right thing. The next best thing is the wrong thing. The worst thing you can do is nothing. The best executive is the one who has sense enough to pick good men to do what he wants done and self-restraint, enough to keep from meddling with them while they do it. Do what you love, love what you do, and success will follow. The most important single ingredient in the formula of success is knowing how to get along with people. Courtesy is as much a mark of a gentleman as courage. Keep your eyes wide open before marriage half shut afterwards. I am a part of everything that I have read. It is hard to fail, but it is worse never to have tried to succeed. Great thoughts speak only to the thoughtful mind, but great actions speak to all mankind. Courage is not having the strength to go on. It is going on when you don't have the strength. To educate a person in mind and not in morals is to educate a menace to society. Keep your dreams alive, understand. To achieve anything requires faith and belief in yourself, vision, hard work, determination, and dedication. Remember, all things are possible for those who believe. The only quality that cannot be improved with practice is honesty. The best prize that life offers is the chance to work hard at work worth doing. The more you know about the past, the better prepared you are for the future. The only way to succeed is to make others successful. I care not what others think of what I do, but I care very much about what I think of what I do. Do what you feel in your heart to be right for you'll be criticized anyway. Keep your words soft and sweet, for someday you may have to eat them. Far better it is to dare mighty things, to win glorious triumphs, even though checkered by failure, than to take rank with those poor spirits who neither enjoy much nor suffer much because they live in the gray twilight that knows not victory nor defeat. The first requisite of a good citizen in this republic of ours is that he shall be able and willing to pull his weight. The only limit to our realization of tomorrow will be our doubts of today. 
The greatest gift of life is friendship, and I have received it. Character in the long run is the decisive factor in the life of an individual and of nations alike. The worst lesson that can be taught to a man is to rely upon others and to whine over his sufferings. The things that will destroy America are prosperity at any price, peace at any price, safety first instead of duty first, and love of soft living and the get-rich-quick theory of life. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood. No man is justified in doing evil on the grounds of expediency. Keep your ideals high, but don't let them limit you from seeing and appreciating the world as it is. The joy in life is his who has the heart to demand it. Do not let selfish men or greedy interests scan your country of its beauty, its riches, or its romance. A man who has never gone to school may steal from a freight car, but if he has a university education, he may steal the whole railroad. The death knell of the Republic will be run when the young people are no longer willing to go to war. A thorough knowledge of the Bible is worth more than a college education. The only wise and honorable and Christian thing to do is to treat each black man and each white man strictly on his merits as a man, giving him no more and no less than he shows himself worthy to have. The unforgivable crime is soft hitting. Do not hit at all if it can be avoided, but never hit softly. The nation behaves well if it treats its natural resources as assets which it must turn over to the next generation. Old age is like everything else to make a success of it. You've got to start young. Order without liberty and liberty without order are equally destructive. There has never yet been a man in our history who led a life of ease whose name is worth remembering. With self-discipline, most anything is possible. The pacifist is as surely a traitor to his country and to humanity as is the most brutal wrongdoer. I don't pity any man who does hard work worth doing, I admire. Him, I pity the creature who does not work, at whichever end of the social scale he may regard himself as being. The boy who is going to make a great man must not make up his mind merely to overcome a thousand obstacles, but to win, in spite of a thousand repulses and defeats. Freedom from effort in the present merely means that there has been effort stored up in the past. It is only through labor and painful effort by grim energy and resolute courage that we move on to better things. The man who has done his best has done everything. The most successful politician is he who says what the people are thinking most often in the loudest voice. To sit home, read one's favorite paper, 
and scoff at the misdeeds of the men who do things is easy, but it is markedly ineffective. The greatest of all curses is the curse of sterility, and the severest of all condemnations should be that visited upon willful sterility. No one is above the law, and no man is below it, nor do we ask any man's permission when we require him to obey it. It is only when men are roused that they fly to arms, and it is only through arms that they can successfully combat oppression. The most practical kind of politics is the politics of decency. Character, in the long run, is the decisive factor in the life of an individual and of nations alike. The greatest happiness is to know the source of unhappiness. A vote is like a rifle, its usefulness depends upon the character of the user. It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. No man is worth his salt who is not ready at all times to risk his well-being, to risk his body, to risk his life in a great cause.